The uh, Cassini-Huygens mission has been going on for quite some time. It launched in 1997, it arrived at Saturn in 2004, and since then it's been collecting data on uh, the planet and on its moons and rings and uh, environment. On September 15th, Cassini is going to begin basically descending into Saturn's atmosphere, and it will still be transmitting data and collecting data as it goes. Uh, until it's really its last moments. And then finally, when it enters Saturn's atmosphere, it's gonna rapidly disintegrate and just kind of burn up. So there's a lot of science that has come out of this. There are a few major highlights. First, there's uh, Enceladus. Enceladus is one of Saturn's moons. The moon is about 300 miles across and it's kind of covered in ice. But uh, what Cassini discovered underneath it is that it has actually this, this global ocean um, this vast kind of liquid salty ocean. This combined with a few other elements actually suggests that Enceladus might have the conditions necessary to support life. There's also Titan, which is Saturn's largest moon, um, which is saying something because there are about 62 moons orbiting the planet. Titan in many ways is, is Earth-like. It shares a lot of characteristics with Earth. Kind of oddly, these liquid forms of methane and ethane kind of behave in the way water does on Earth. They, they sort of undergo this kind of water cycle. Enceladus, Titan, and Jupiter's moon Europa are all three part of this growing list of worlds out there in the solar system that scientists are referring to as ocean worlds because they all have oceans. Uh, and some of them might actually be habitable. Some of them might have life on them. One of the things that people are thinking of when they think of Saturn are its rings. These rings have been kind of mysterious to a lot of scientists. The Cassini team found that these rings were composed of these clumps of particles, some of which are really tiny, like the size of grains of sand, and some of them are huge, I mean vast, large as, as big as mountains. They also want to see if they can measure the mass of the rings. If they can figure out the mass of the rings, they might be able to figure out how old they are. If the rings have a lot of mass, then it's possible that they uh, might be very old. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.